we're going to talk about editing feature lines. Specifically, we're going to talk about editing horizontal data for feature lines. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to zoom in on this top of bank feature line. Ultimately, what we're going to end up doing is probably deleting this feature line because we've already applied these points to our surface, so we don't need this feature line anymore. But what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to select my feature line, and in the contextual ribbon bar, what you will see is you have an area for edit geometry. Inside of edit geometry, you have all of the options available to you for how to edit your horizontal data for your feature lines. So what you can do is you can insert PIs. So you can insert a new vertex for your, or vertices for your feature line. You can also delete your vertices. So I can delete out a vertice um, and, and I'll no longer be using that point for my feature line. Then we get into the more nuanced commands. So we have break, which is just like a polyline break. I can select a line and I can break it to a certain point. So I have now separated this feature line into two separate feature lines. Uh, I can then take this point, bring it back to here, uh, and then I can use the join command, which is right here. And I can join it to this feature line here and hit enter. Now they're joined again. If I wanted to, I could drop a polyline across here and I can select this feature line and do a trim command using this feature line and then trim it out. Um, now I can move on to this. Reverse just changes the, the read order. So when I drew this feature line and I drew it from this direction across this way, so that's the read direction. Reverse would change the read direction back to this direction. You can edit your curves if you had a curve. You can fill it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna fill it this. And so Civil 3D is gonna ask me to specify a corner. So I'm gonna go ahead and specify that corner. And what you can see here is that it placed a curve in here. So now I can go ahead and edit this. So it says select feature line curve to edit or delete. I can select that line and now I can choose a radius for that curve. So what I can go ahead and do is I can say, I want that radius to be 350 feet and hit enter and hit apply and okay. And now I have a 350 foot radius curve running between my two tangents. Um, moving on from there, what you have is you can fit a curve. If you didn't have any curves, you could base it off of a number of vertices. You can also smooth. So if I clicked smooth, it would basically create a spline-like feature line. Then moving on from there, you can weed. So you can weed your feature lines even after you've created them, if for some reason you have too many vertices. Uh, and then from here, you can create a feature line from a stepped offset. So you can do that stepped offset command inside of your edit. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna do that uh, so that we can see what a stepped offset looks like, and then uh, we'll delete both of them. So I initiated the stepped offset. It says specify offset distance. So I'm going to say 10 feet the specify side to offset so I can click which side I want to specify my offset for. So I'm gonna offset down slope. Now it's saying specify elevation difference, grade, slope, elevation, or variable. So if I wanna do a grade, I can say I wanna do a 25% gradient, or I can do a two to one slope, or I can specify a specific elevation. I can say I want to do negative 10 feet. So that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to say elevation, E for elevation, and then I'm going to specify, or actually it's elevation would be a specific elevation difference. D is an elevation differential. So I'm going to say elevation differential of negative 10. And so if I go in here, now I have two feature lines that are offset from each other. And this feature line, if I looked at the elevation components of it, would be 10 feet lower than the elevation components of this line here. So ultimately what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna select both of them. I'm gonna hit E for erase and erase both of them. 